welcome back to my channel so for today's video you guys have probably already read the title of it but for today i am going to be showing you guys of what i ate in a day during college here at ucla so basically what i'm going to be doing is going through all of my meals breakfast lunch dinner and dessert and basically showing you guys what i do to prepare as well as what i eat and lucky enough this video is sponsored so biting was nice enough to sponsor this video to explain a little bit about biting it is a company that sells small kitchen appliances such as like this amazing toaster i'm going to be showing you guys today as well as like a hot water maker and a tea maker also guys i want to mention that at the end of this video there is going to be a giveaway so make sure you stay tuned for that but without any further ado let's get into the video Okay guys, so since it is breakfast time right now and the most basic meal to eat during breakfast for any girl actually is avocado toast. So I'm gonna start off my day by baking myself some avocado toast. It's around 9 a.m. right now and I haven't started my classes. So I'm just gonna make that real quick and then show you guys how it comes out at the end. Okay guys, so to make some avocado toast, we're obviously gonna need an avocado. And I have one right here, which is like perfectly ripe for avocado toast. So there's my avocado. Now now I'm gonna need some toast, obviously. Gotta grab some of that. And then I'm going to add a cool little spice to it. If you guys don't know what this is, this is the everything but the bagel seasoning and I love it so much. It tastes so good on avocado toast. So I'm just gonna make that right now in my super cute biting toaster. Check out how cute this is. If you know me, you know that this is exactly my style. I love the color because Look how good it matches with that over there. Also, look at the retro look. Like that is so cute and just like the perfect accent piece to this kitchen. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. Check out how perfectly toast this bread came out. This is exactly how I like it. A little bit toasted, but not too much. And so now I'm just gonna cut up this avocado and add a little bit of the seasoning and it's gonna make the perfect avocado toast. So this is my breakfast before I start school is just the avocado toast again. And this is absolutely delicious. So if you guys are wondering what to enjoy right before you start classes, have some avocado toast. This is absolutely delicious. And now I'm just gonna enjoy it right before my class starts. It is all done. Now I'll see you guys during lunchtime. Hey guys, so now it is around 12 o'clock and I am done with all of my classes and since it is a little bit past noon, it's lunchtime. So now I'm gonna go make lunch and for lunch today, I'm going to have a grilled cheese sandwich, which is so good and very nostalgic of like my childhood. So let's go make that and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna use the toaster again. Okay, so let me just get the ingredients. So of course, grilled cheese, you're gonna need again, some bread and let me go show you guys my little secret tips and tricks to make the perfect grilled cheese so what i'm gonna use is some butter because butter just is so good and for cheese i use some shredded cheese just because it melts easier and it just tastes so much better so i'm just gonna put my bread in the toaster and you're gonna see how good and golden ground it's gonna come out and make the most amazing grilled cheese sandwich ever so now I'm just gonna take some garlic butter that I found in the refrigerator that I think would taste so good with this grilled cheese. So I just grab a little bit and put it all over the bread. And then I grab some of my shredded cheese while the bread is still a little warm. And I just put it in here. Okay guys, so now I am in my room and let me just Okay guys, so now I'm in my room obviously and let me just tell you this grilled cheese is literally amazing It's like garlic bread grilled cheese so good if you guys don't know what to make I recommend making this because garlic bread grilled cheese Amazing I'm just gonna enjoy this watch more of the office do some homework and I'll see you guys for dinner Hey guys, so it's a little bit later now. It's around 6.45 p.m., which is my dinner time. So I'm going to make dinner right now, and what I am making is basically like a little bagel pizza, but with Alfredo sauce. 
some cheese and sausage so i'm gonna make that for dinner and it's gonna be absolutely delicious i've had this before a couple of times but i've never made it for myself so let's go see how that turns out and hopefully it tastes so good okay so the ingredients i need to make this alfredo bagel pizza is obviously gonna be first bagels Let's check the refrigerator. So I'm gonna use some of this Alfredo sauce right here. Some of the sausage that I made the other day from Trader Joe's. And then I'm gonna use some shredded cheese again so it can melt all over the bagels. Okay guys, sorry about this lighting. It is getting a little bit later in the day, obviously. And just the lighting goes downhill after that. So I have my bagel right here. And I'm just gonna warm up some of my Alfredo sauce as well as the sausage. And once my bagel is out, put the Alfredo sauce all over the bagel, put my sausage on top and put some cheese on it and it's gonna taste so good. You can't go wrong with this. I just took my bagel out and I have my Alfredo sauce right here. So what I'm gonna do is just pour my Alfredo sauce all over my bagel just so it gets like an even coating. So once that is done, then I'm gonna grab some of my shredded mozzarella cheese and just put it like all over the sides of the bagel. And then with the Alfredo cheese, I'll just like melt with that. And then I'm gonna put some of the sausage that I made the other day right on top. So here is the finished product. It looks absolutely delicious. And now I'm just gonna enjoy myself to my pizza bagel. So good. Hey guys, so now it is a little later and I am craving something sweet. So now I'm going to make my little dessert for the day, which is basically just gonna be like a frozen waffle with some cookie butter and fruit on top. So now let's go head over to the kitchen and make that. Okay guys, so this is my finished dessert for the night. It is just a blueberry ego waffle with some cookie butter on top and then some fresh strawberries. So now I'm just gonna be enjoying that for the night and that concludes this video. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. But before I actually finish off this video, I just want to mention the giveaway that I am having for you guys as part of Biteam. So basically, I am going to be giving away two of the toasters that I used today in this video. So in order to win one of these toasters, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, as well as comment down below something where I can contact you so it could either be like your Instagram username or an email address and that is all you have to do I will be choosing the winner in about two weeks and I will be contacting you again thank you so 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 much to Biden for sponsoring this video and I love you all so 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 much and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>